So, hi, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Abhi, uh, co founder of the And I'm really excited to be joining you all the way from Hong Kong today with the magic technology. So, let's dive right into the problem. So, here's the problem we're all familiar with the situation. Our access to electricity is extremely limited, and this problem only persists for professionals like wedding photographers, musicians, and organizers. So we created the solution just this is Adam. So Adam is a portable battery with a built-in wall outlet. You can now use laptops, speakers, lights, video transmitters, vehicles, and literally thousands of devices anywhere you go. Uh, it also has USB ports and a replaceable battery. So let's have a look at what people used to use before the Atom existed. So there were three main solutions. Extension cords are great, but they're not really practical for outdoor use. Portable substitutes tend to be expensive, or some are called. And now, third option, the yourself batteries and C outlet is great, but the problem is this requires technical knowledge and it clearly isn't consumer friendly. During university, uh, my co-founder and I were hanging at a, a local camping site and we really want to use our speakers guitar amp. And none of these solutions let us do that. And that's why the only for the part of Adam was born. And from there we ran a successful crowdfunding campaign on Google. So this is a pre-order campaign. It's not like Cedars, which was just talked about. It's not a free campaign. So we end up raising over seventy thousand dollars from hundreds of factors were, you know, all over the twenty different countries. So got great and a ton of interest, including a host of opportunities for Amazon Launchpad. And actually, we've got over 50 distributors who contacted us, and we're currently working on securing letters of intent. So these are our main competitors in the actual space of creating products. So Chargeall and OmniCharge have very sleek and small products, but the problem is they don't have much power. So they can't even charge your laptop once at a time. In comparison, Adam can charge it laptop point five charges. Uh, secondly, they don't have pure signups and what this means is they can't actually uh, they aren't actually compatible with all devices. For instance, you can't use speakers. Uh, lastly we have this third competitor called Gold Zero. And Gold Zero is for Review, which weighs anywhere between 5 kilograms to 45 kilograms. And in comparison, the atom weighs less than 1 kilogram. Uh, so let's talk about the market. I'm, I know I'm going a little bit fast, but I just want to cover everything. So if you have any questions afterwards, I can talk to you. So, market. Different people have different power and influence. So, for instance, a business traveler and a have very different whereas a drone enthusiast and musician may have pretty similar ones. Currently, we're targeting niche markets with uh, this product here, uh, which are people like photographers, musicians, and other enthusiasts who really get the most value from this type of product and have high purchase of so This is just our first product. We're our first product right now. Uh, the first is, uh, is going to be a much more thinner and the best part of the version of the app, and it's going to be really cool at 99 That's for people like me and you who just charge our laptops on. And then we're going to we're also looking into the research for a much, much bigger, serious pocket solution, which is going to retail at over 5,000 USD. So, using just 10,000 USD uh, of founders' capital with no outside investment, we turned that into over 70,000 dollars in pre-sales revenue and we completed our first production fund. So now what we're doing is we're looking for three hundred and twenty thousand US dollars to help grow our company. The money will be used to scale production of the atom, hire key employees and complete R and D for our second product. 
Okay, so right before I get into our competitive advantage, I just want to take a second to talk about this photo. So one of our early factors actually this photo of the atom being used in the dark. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It's a beautiful set. Okay, so what makes us better? Firstly, regarding IP, Adam has two patents pending for its innovation in heat dissipation and cleaning. Secondly, uh, and very importantly, our access to China allows us to test, iterate, and manufacture products in a really quick and cost efficient process. We also have a unique supply chain which allows us to get highly specialized patents and prevent early stage copies. So these reasons allow us to manufacture products with Chinese costs while marketing the brand with the same value of uh, quality and design. Okay, so to wrap up, Adam was initiated as a project to tackle a simple yet important question. Why can't I have a world that's portable? This is our founding team. Love, as many of you have met, is a very talented mechanical engineer as hands on experience, right? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, should I continue from where or? Uh... Uh, okay, yeah, so this is our founding team. This is a really talented mechanic. He has hands on experience with uh, Chinese manufacturers as well as designing products. I'm Avi and I'm responsible for business development. <clears throat> I have a background in digital marketing and management. We also have had an excellent advisory team, as many of you know, uh, Austin Gonzalo and Adam DeSoto. They've been helping us uh, guide us the right strategy and help us go into a uh, growth stage company. Uh, but I'd love to answer any questions you have. Uh, hope all of you will hear as well. And I'll switch back to video. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Avinash, for presenting us, Atom. I must say, I must say there were some uh, some connection problems, so my, there might be some questions for you to repeat a little bit about what you just said, okay? So let's just start. Who would like to start asking something for Atom? Okay, let's start with, with Magnus. <laughs> Hi, how are you? You sound good. <laughs> I have a question that, that's related to uh, after you have the first adopters, you uh, identify two types of market where one is the high volume, low grade consumer type of product for 99 US dollars if, or Hong Kong dollars or whatever currency. And then you have the other, which is the highly professional, high cost uh, market. And these are two completely different animals. And uh, you're still a small company at that time. So I wonder how you think, how you foresee that you're actually going to be these two identities at the same time. And what kind of uh, uh, image you get if you have this high type, high grade product and still sell low-grade products, because that will be catchy in the wrong way, I believe. Right. Okay, thanks so much for your question, Magnus. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so to answer your question, our main focus is actually creating the next version, which is going to be a mass consumer product. And that's more to raise brand awareness so other people in different segments are able to identify us as the key player in this market. The second one, which is an enterprise-grade version, is more, right now we're just doing research. We don't have intentions of just going straight at it yet. So the plan is basically, it may be even a one-off project. Like we just make one for a particular videographer who needs it. And and we've, we've been researching the price points that people would be willing to pay. And in fact, we even talked to the, to the photographers in the back of their BGI who mentioned that there are similar products that people buy for around 3,500 euros. So, yeah, it would be a separate type of uh, one off type of product. Does that answer your question? Yes. 
Okay, so anyone else would have a question for Atom? Avinash, yes. Actually, I got two questions. Uh, one is about the financials. Can you share more about cost structure, selling price, etc., and how you see that evolving over time? And the second one is clarify a little bit more your go-to-market strategy because you both identify your target clients, but you also talk a lot about partnerships with distributors. They, they don't, they're not, you know, contradictory, but I'm, I'm I'm willing to hear a little bit more about how you plan to go to market. Okay. Uh, thanks for your question. Uh, so first off, uh, to answer a bit about the price and things like that. So this retails, uh, this is actually, we just finished our pilot production run. So this retails at 299 USD. And uh, this part alone, which is an extra battery, and actually 45% of the orders we got come with an extra battery. And this retails for 120 USD. We meet all industry margins for consumer electronics, of course, uh, I'd love to talk to you later if you about the specific price or cost of our product, but we, we make all margins. I'm sure you'll be happy with that. Uh, secondly, our go-to market plan is, um, okay, so right now, you know the classic problem with hardware. Hardware is you need first capital to get inventory and you know, sell things, you need inventory first, so where do you go for the capital? And it's just like a chicken and egg problem. But what we have in mind is now we're collecting letters of intent where people, uh, where retailers put 30% of the cost up front. And this allows us to get enough enough uh, inventory, uh, sorry, enough capital to actually make the inventory. Uh, so that's the main reason we're also pursuing retailers so that we can actually scale up faster. But we will also be doing direct uh, B2C sales on our on, online uh, where we can have much higher margins. I hope that kind of answers your question. I guess, <laughs> I guess it was a little bit more or less, but um, if there are no further comments, Avinash, thank you so much to be with us and to still uh, keep hearing the next presentations.